Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to set up Sphinx's Craftables. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to DevRaw and then click on the wiki. Now that we're on the T7 wiki, let's go to releases. For this tutorial, I'll be setting up the Brazen Bull Craftable. However, all of the craftables are set up exactly the same. After downloading our craftable, let's open it up and let's drag in all these folders into our BO3 root. Next, let's open up the instructions text to see what we have to do. So the first thing we have to do is open up our map name GSC and CSC. To do that, let's go to our root, user maps, our map name, scripts, ZM, and let's find our GSC and CSC and open them up. Now that we have them open, we're going to copy this line here and paste it underneath our using scripts ZM user map in the GSC and CSC. So in our GSC, we will scroll down till we find user map. We'll create some new lines and paste it in. We'll bring this back and then we're gonna do the exact same for our CSC. Scroll down, ZM user map, make new lines and paste it in. Next, we're gonna open up our zone file and put in localized craftables as well as the include. So here in our launcher, to get to our zone, we'll find our map name, right click and edit zone file. Next, we'll paste in the localize all the way at the top, just like so. And with our other includes, we will paste in Sphinx's include here. Next, we're going to have to paste this line here into our ZM level common weapons. Now, we haven't set this up yet in this tutorial series, so really quickly, I will show you how to do that. In the future, I will make a tutorial specifically for ZM level commons, which pretty much just defines which weapons go into your mystery box. So here we'll go to our root. We're going to open up share, raw, game data, weapons, ZM, and ZM level common weapons, we're going to take this file and copy it. Next, let's go back to our root. We're gonna open up user maps, your map folder. Then we're gonna create a new folder if you don't already have it and put in game data. We'll open this, we'll create a new folder, name it weapons. Inside that folder, we are going to create a new folder named ZM. We're gonna open that and then we'll paste our Level common weapons file in here. After opening this up in Sublime, you could see that this is all the weapons in our mystery box. And then we're gonna take this line here in step four and just paste it in. Now that we have this done, we actually have to add our level common weapons to the zone. So we'll go to our zone file. All the way at the bottom, we'll add in this line here. I have copied it from another zone file, but it is string table, comma, the folder path, game data, weapons, ZM, and then the file name, ZM level common weapons.csv. Next, let's go into Radiant. Now that we're in Radiant, we're gonna have to place in our prefabs. To open up our prefab browser, we'll go to the top, right click and open up prefab browser. Then we will go into Sphinx, Craftables, and here we will have our shield and here we'll have all of our craftables from Sphinx. So we're gonna go ahead and place in the craftable bench, part zero, part one, and part two. Now that we have our crafting bench and our three parts in the map, we can go in game. A quick thing to note, I did change the build table. So yours might look a little bit different than mine. So here we are in game. And as you can see, our bench needs additional parts required because we haven't picked up any of them yet. So we will pick up the three parts and then we'll go ahead and craft the brazen bull. And we have taken it and it works. And that's pretty much how to set up all of Sphinx's craftables. All right, that's going to be it for this tutorial. If you found anything useful and I was able to help you today, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Thanks for watching and have a good one.